I'm going to be showing you how you can keep the NBT data on chests, signs, and enchantments on weapons or tools or anything like that. So, what is NBT data? Basically, if you have items in a chest, the items that are in that chest, like let's say I get items from here, the items here, the trap doors I just put in, this, in the chests, is the NBT data. What if I wanted to place a chest down? And then transfer these items also into this chest so that I take this, I take the chest, I place it down somewhere else, and it has the same items in there, and it basically duplicates them like that in creative mode. How am I supposed to do this, alright? So, on a lot of gaming keyboards, there is a key called pick lock. So if you hover over a chest, you click pick lock, and then place it somewhere else, it has the same stuff in it. But laptop keyboards and some gaming keyboards don't have pick lock key. So how, we, how do we do the pick lock feature? and keep the NBT data without the pick lock key. It is actually really simple. So well, let me show you how. So first, just get a chest. Let's say let's say you want some diamonds in it, right? Uh, I'll, just, I'll just do this. Uh, there we go. Oh, look, I got, I got diamond. Okay, anyways, put the diamonds in the chest, right? Let's just say I got, I got this from legit mining, okay? I'll just get a random amount so it looks like I played in survival, right? Okay, yeah, okay. So let's just say this is your chest of diamonds, right? Well, um, what if you want to keep this exact data in this exact amount in each, and you can spread it around that exact thing in a different chest by just placing it down without using the pick lock key? So what you do is you hold down the control key and middle click. What is middle click? It's just clicking down on your scroll wheel. So not actually scrolling it, but just click pushing down on it. And then you get a new chest. If you have this one, wait, 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 wait. It says plus NBT. Wait, what? It has the MBT data. You push it down. Look at that. Look at that. Now you can also do this with signs. So uh, if I go like this, um, I'll get I'll get sign out. I'll get a sign, right? Okay. And then, hi, test, YouTube, keys, numbers, stuff like that. Done. We can do con hold down control, press down on the scroll wheel. Boom, we get a sign, we place it everywhere like that. Oh my god. Plus NBT. Place it down everywhere. It has the same stuff on it. Literally, it's insane, guys. So I'm just gonna break all these signs real quick. That's how you do it with chests and signs, right? Very, very simple. Now, what if you have an enchanted item, and then you want to keep that enchanted item and duplicate it without having to re-enchant it? So let's get a diamond sword out, okay? And I guess we can get a diamond axe out, just to demonstrate. We'll do slash enchant at S. Sharpness 5, slash enchant at S, fire aspect 2, slash enchant at S, knockback 1, I don't know. So then we have all this on it, right? And then I'll do the axe too, I'll do it, uh, slash enchant at S, efficiency, oops, efficiency 5, okay? So, what we can do now is if we, we don't need to even hold down control, we just need to press down on the middle scroll wheel and boom, you have it again. Just like that, and as you can see, it still has the exact same enchantments as the first one. Same with this. Very, very cool indeed. This is very helpful if you're making an adventure map, and you just want to have different enchantments on a sword and make multiple of it. Let's say you have, you have like a god chest in a, in a game, you just have this for you and all your teammates. You just have that. Like, it's a team of three, and then there's a chest, and you have like that or something. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with it, but that's how you keep the NBT data on an item or chest sign that without the pick lock key on your keyboard. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.